Hello gamers, Genesis Moss here with this week's edition of The Gamer Chronicles. This week, I am reviewing the arcade version of Ghosts and Goblins, which was released on the Capcom Classics Collection on the PlayStation 2. So, let's jump in this review and see what the game has to offer. Ghosts and Goblins was released by Capcom in 1985 for the arcades, and is the first game in the series. It is a horror-styled, side-scrolling platform game where the player takes control of Arthur. He is a knight who likes to hang outside in his underpants with the princess, Prin Prin. What a stupid name for a girl. Anyways, she is kidnapped by Satan himself. Arthur's quest is to save the princess from Satan by fighting through hordes of evil zombies, ogres, demons, and of course, ghosts and goblins. The music in this game sounds great from pressing start all the way through most of the second level, because that is as far as I got before the nerd rage took over, sounds beautiful. Just listen to this 80s bit of wonder to hear what I'm talking about. Speaking of wonder, look at these graphics. They really bring the horror element of this game to life with this one. Everything was beautifully done with eye-catching sprites and an awesome horror setting background that in 1985 made all of our jaws drop. The gameplay is very fluid on this. You use the D-pad to move left and right and the square and circle buttons act as your attack with the X button being your jump. I like how this is set up on the controller, so no matter what, the jump button is centered. I usually don't say much about button placement, but this works out so well, I can't help but brag on it. Now for the one thing I do not like about this game, and this is something I would not usually find so bad about a game if this was not just so incredibly over the top. And that is the difficulty level. This game is so hard. Getting to the boss in the second level was almost impossible. Any gamer who has made it to level 3 has all of my respect. And if you have beat this game, may God bless your soul as you deserve a medal. So, overall, how do I feel about this game? If it weren't for the drastic difficulty level, I would say this game is great. But when a game has such an insane difficulty level that it does not want you getting past the second level, it's just too hard. And I have to put it kind of low on my list just because of that. Otherwise, like I said, it would be a fantastic video game. I know it's a classic, and I know I'm probably going to get some flack for saying that it's not this great, wonderful game, but I have to be honest with my opinion, so... Otherwise, that was it for the review. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on Twitter at IHaveThePower82. And check out my sponsors over at the Nerdorama Network. And check out my friends over at Third Strike and One More Castle. All those links are below in the video description. Thanks for watching, everybody. And game over. Stay tuned next week, everybody, because I will be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Back from the Sewers, for the Nintendo Game Boy.